कुलकर्णी इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एनालिटिकल केमिस्ट्री एंड हाउ वी यूज डिफरेंट एनालिटिकल टेक्निक्स सो लेट्स बिगिन नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज द पर्पस ऑफ एनालिटिकल टेक्निक्स इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस टू फाइंड आउट द करेक्ट स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एनी ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड now we can obtain organic compound by two different methods we can either extract it from some natural source like plants or animal tissues or we can synthesize it in the lab by mixing chemicals and processing the reactions either way the compound which you obtain may or may not be the right compound and also it may not be pure so it is essential for us to decide the correct structure it is a challenging task and that's when we have analytical chemistry playing the important role now we cannot simply use one technique and say this is the final structure we must use several structures to find out if the structure which we are assigning is the correct structure now why is that we will going to talk about that in a minute but before that let's recap why do we need any analytical techniques in first place the first point is we need to identify the correct chemical structure for a compound now when we say the word chemical structure it is not just molecular formula it is also the groups suppose maybe there is a group present like hydroxyl group where is the group located how many groups are there and all those details we can also check the purity of compound and it's essential for us to know the purity especially if we are considering medicines we need to know which are the impurities and if we know the impurities we can probably guess which could be side effects and avoid those side effects by removing those impurities so why do we need more than one technique the answer is simple every technique has some limitations so although it will provide some information it will not be sufficient enough so we can say it provides insufficient information and what is the final effect of that we may not be able to find out the chemical structure accurately for any given organic compound so let's talk about the most important analytical techniques which are easy to use they can provide good information and also it is reliable information so here's a list of the techniques which we commonly use there could be more but these are the most commonly used techniques so one is infrared which we call as ir then there is mass spectrometry which we call as mass spec and then there is nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy we call it simply as nmr and that can be either proton nmr which we call as hnmr or we can also call it as carbon c12 nmr also now each of this is going to give us more information we will talk in detail later in next video but just to recap what information we get from ir it gives mainly type of functional groups is it an amino group is it an oh group what group we got there it does not tell us how many groups we have or where they are located then there is mass spectrometry it gives you miz mass to charge ratio it will help us to find out the molar mass and also it gives some fragment ions which kind of gives you idea about the structure and the third is proton nmr that in fact tells you each of the number of carbon atoms linked to a specific number of hydrogen atoms and that can totally help us in solving the puzzle and get the structure of the organic compound so in our next videos we will discuss one by one each of the technique and how it helps in finding the correct structural formula 
for any organic compounds. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you again in next video. Until then, bye-bye.